Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, the first thing I want to say is uh, um, Happy New Year for everyone here in our family, for the followers and subscribers, for those who are watching me here. Um, I just wish this will be your lucky year and the year where you achieve your dreams and targets. Um, the remarkable thing we noticed in the market in the past uh, two days is the weakness of the dollar uh, the US dollar was really weak and most of the directions I predicted was correct however there was no pullbacks as I predicted let's go and see now what happened during this week so uh, euro dollar has gained strength and uh, because of the weakness of the dollar of course the euro has gained strength so the reversal did not happen from the level I expected and we can see that the market just continued uh, its bullish momentum and growing all the way breaking out from this resistance right here so what is now the next move we can expect from the euro, from the euro dollar based on this fact what we can see right now is the, the, the euro dollar is right now hitting a very very strong resistance level we can see that here and we can see that on uh, Tuesday night the candle closed like that reversing reversing from this level now I just want to say something here the weakness of the dollar um, in my expectation it was due to the, the many facts about the Christmas the holidays and also the potential deal and the tariffs uh, rates between US and China uh, all of these things are actually um, making the dollar actually weak. However, I don't think it will continue its weakness for a long time. I think the US dollar is going to gain some strength this coming uh, week. Uh, let's just be honest here. Uh, this week, I don't th I don't think the market will move much. Will make an there will be any much movement on the market. There is not enough equity or uh, <clears throat> volatility in the market. Therefore, um, it's better actually to wait until the next week. I'm just telling you friendly advice, not just because I am on YouTube and uh, I am from Extreme Extreme Trader Group. I have to give you this analysis and expect the market to go unrealistically uh, in a direction. No, I cannot say that. I have to be honest with you and I tell you the truth. I personally highly advise you to avoid trading this week. If you must, uh, if you must trade do it next week anyway i just have to resume with this analysis and give you my expectation for the market and again please my advice for you is don't trade this week why because first of all we don't know what's happening with the dollar is still weak and we are just hoping that the weakness of the dollar will uh, stop soon uh, the second thing is this friday this coming friday january 3rd uh, at 7 p.m dubai time we are expecting the ISM PMIs on the US dollar. This actually might change uh, the dollar strength, of course, and therefore we are not sure what will gonna happen. Always pay attention to the news. Be ready for these news because no matter what strategy you have, no matter what technical analysis you have, nothing will be um, beating these uh, high impact news. They are actually ca they can change the whole trend direction sometimes. So. Proceeding with the analysis, this resistance here on the Euro USD is very strong, and the reason I'm saying very strong is right now I'm on the daily candles, and these daily candles have been trying for more than a week, for for a whole week actually, six candles, one, two, three, four, five, six, even sorry, even seven candles, seven candles. For, so even more than a week, the market is trying to break out from this resistance, and once it's failed. We can see that for the whole week, the market continued its bearish momentum. Even after retesting this level and performing head and shoulders, the market just continued again its bearish momentum. Meaning this resistance is really strong and the market is not able to break through from this level. However, now we are on different time and different uh, situation and uh, from what we have here from the weakness of the dollar we can actually expect for the market to break out from this resistance but not immediately uh, seeing this candle here the, re the reversal there should be a bounce from this resistance level and if we now go to the smaller time frame such as four hour chart we can see that the market just started uh, its uh, reversal pattern 
this price action here it is actually good indicating a reversal uh, uh, in the pattern here so going back to the daily candles what can we expect from the US dollar I'm expecting for it to reverse right on this level like that let me just be more accurate exactly like that yeah just like that perfect because this resistance level has been breaking out already and the market seems to be able to retest the level however the strong support level is just laying right here and therefore I believe this support level is going to be respected as a support and the market is going to continue its bullish momentum not for that long time actually um, let me just uh, be more accurate if the market is going to reverse on this level I think it's gonna keep its bullish momentum all the way until hitting this resistance level and then we need to, uh, to see the price action to tell us what's gonna happen what's what will gonna happen next so euro USD uh, based on the four hour chart is gonna be good for the buy order on this support level like that exactly like that yes so let me just uh, mention it for you uh, buy the euro sorry by the euro USD on the level 1.11984 uh, yeah, I believe by the way uh, mentioning the levels is much better than giving the zones which has no actual uh, entry level and I'm sure nobody like that anyway so that is my expectation for the euro USD again guys please pay attention to this news don't skip it don't ignore it it's very very important it's play a huge role a huge role in this uh, in the trading business so again that is my expectation for the euro usd let's now go and see the other pair let's go to the pound usd now the pound usd also did not uh, make the pullback as i thought i was hoping for a pullback if i'm not mistaken right on this level or maybe even a little lower not sure However, uh, the pullback did not happen and the market just continued its uh, bullish momentum all the way. I was expecting for the pound USD to actually make a reversal at this resistance level right here, like that. Uh, it just continued its bullish momentum again, breaking out from this resistance. Now, what happened here uh, seems like we had here a resistance number one and the market almost reached it. If I'm not mistaken, let's check it out not yet let me go to the one hour chart and um, yeah not yet possibly we can expect another uh, bullish uh, pullback from the pound USD however I think it's gonna reverse on this level because right now we are on Fibonacci 61.8 and if we draw it like that we can see that let me just delete this line we can see that we are perfectly now uh, fitting on this 61.8 so most likely the reversal started to happen however don't start selling the pound USD at all because I'm expecting for it to go a little bit more up actually hitting this the top of this resistance before it starts its bearish reversal so be careful when you are trading the pound USD let me just give you the actual level where I'm expecting the market to reverse to be honest it is this one I have to be safe uh, and I keep my uh, members safe that's why I'm giving really sometimes far entries because I just have to be careful giving uh, the entries I don't want anyone to lose uh, pips because of my analysis also because the pound is very sensitive as you know a small reversal can cost you a lot of pips that's why we always have to be safe when trading the pound so uh, sell on the level uh, 1.33209 that should be actually a good level to start shorting the pound USD however uh, please wait for the price action before start entering this trade um, it's really important to know something that if the market will break the level 61.8 it means that the trend has changed the direction um, it's it's really important guys you have to keep your eyes on the price action uh, please draw this Fibonacci this the very same way I draw it here from this high here to this low here and pay attention if you see any breakout candle breaking out from this level it if, if you see any candle that just look uh, for example um, like this one here or like this one 
if you see any uh, completely breakout bullish candle full bar with almost no wicks at the bottom or top just please do me a favor close this thread with the loss because most likely the market is going to continue its direction and most likely it's not going to reverse so however all these analysis are based on the price action so please pay attention to the price action let's check now the AUD USD now AUD USD let's go to the daily candles also I was expecting for a pullback however the pullback did not happen and the bullish momentum just continued going smoothly uh, and the market just didn't make any reversals at all so those who actually bought the AUD USD are uh, in good position so far however let's see for how long are they are going to be in this good position now uh, what we are seeing here is the AUD USD has almost reached this resistance level and actually it almost touched this resistance level right here uh, in my expectation AUD USD is gonna continue rising a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance right here and right here and then after that this was a fake breakout in my opinion and after that the market is going to make a reverse retesting this breaking out resistance level right here so in other words AUD USD uh, is still good for the buy but not not immediately let me just see where can we start again buying the AUD USD uh, if I'm not mistaken it's exactly right on this level so if you must buy the AUD USD the level 0. 0. 0.717 should be actually a good level to start buying the AUD USD don't keep your trade running for a long time because right here we are expecting the market to reverse and if you want my advice don't buy the AUD USD at all uh, just wait for the reversal if the market will hit this resistance level and then we can start shorting the AUD USD yeah let me just uh, rephrase that don't buy AUD, AUD USD it's better to avoid it so far because this momentum here it cannot keep going forever there will be a reversal and from what, from what I see the strong re uh, resistance is laying right here and the market has to reverse at this level let me just check it on uh, trend lines just to be sure uh, yeah exactly exactly what I'm saying to you most likely this is what will gonna happen the market will just continue a little bit more up, will just continue to go a little bit more up hitting this resistance and then it's gonna fall if you start selling the AUD USD on this level you can keep your trade running until it hit this resistance level because from there we can expect the market to reverse and continue the bullish momentum so AUD USD should be good for the sell at the level 0 0.70399 hopefully this is what will gonna happen and we will uh, again guys please I have to remind everyone again pay attention to this news to the ISM PMIs it's gonna change the whole direction maybe if, it, if the results was uh, very bad for the currency or very good for the currency it can actually change the whole analysis here again guys I'm telling you please pay attention to the ISM PMIs news let's look at the USDGPY the USDGPY it just continued its bearish momentum without any single pullback just continued sinking the whole week so for almost two days almost 100 pips if not exactly 100 pips so now what is the next move we can expect from the USD GPY now what we can see here is we have here a support level with so many attempts I mean I really mean so many attempts like one two three four five six seven eight yeah almost eight attempts and this is a fake breakout so we can say nine attempts of the support here however I don't think this support is gonna hold for a long time especially with the weakness of the dollar now what we see here happening is actually a bouncing on the candle the candle is just bouncing due to the strength of this support level right here now the question is it gonna keep this bounce for a long time mm, no I don't think so it's gonna fall down actually and we can see that the candle here went up all the way this is the bounce that is actually how I trade guys that is my trading I just get out here with 22 pips and that's it this is the bounce that I am actually doing with my scalping sessions so however we can see that there was a bounce here and the market went all the way up here retesting this previous resistance oh my god it is perfectly fit here 
I was actually marking my line looking at this resistance here and looking at the left I can see yes uh, this level of the resistance has been already retested so selling the USDGPY right now, right away is actually not a bad idea however I think that the AUD USD, the USDGPY is gonna go a little bit more up make a second attempt of this resistance retesting this previous resistance right here and then it's gonna continue falling down so let me just mark the level for you where you you can actually start shorting the USD GPY let me just be accurate as much as possible one hour chart just to be sure uh, we already have two attempts here we have a resistance one and a resistance two let me just go back to the four hour chart always uh, believe the smaller time frame let me just draw that something uh, I'm just doing it front of you guys I'm just I didn't I really didn't analyze the market before recording this video I just want everyone to feel uh, the headache of the analysis together so yeah most likely USD GPY should be good to be so sold immediately uh, you can expect the pair to go against your direction for almost 10 pips no more than that yeah so USD GPY seems to be good for sell right away and again expect the pair to go against you for about 10 maximum 13 15 pips and then it's gonna continue falling down I don't think it's gonna hold uh, the bullish momentum at all most likely the breakout is coming on this support level and therefore USD GPY should be good for shorting let's look at the USD CAD now the USD CAD it just continued falling down more down even breaking this support level which I have predicted that this should be the level where we should close the trade let me just uh, mention it here uh, honestly guys I, I just don't remember uh, what was the analysis I gave last week if I give you the analysis of uh, buying this level or not honestly speaking I don't really remember if I'm wrong please correct me if I'm not mistaken I mentioned that the USD, the USD CAD must be good for buy order uh, on the level uh, 1.3101 sorry 1.30170 however uh, might be, it might actually break this level so now let's see what is the next uh, movement we can expect from the USD CAD now the movement here we can see right now we are on daily candles and we can see that the market has reversed on this support level on 1.29709 so looking at this level here if you guys remember what I'm saying always in the videos when you see a single support that consists of only one long wick here what does it mean if you see a support with a small candle and a long wick like that or long tail at the bottom what this price action indicating for us it's indicating a huge uh, rejection on the level meaning this level of the support is very strong it's a very strong support level and that's why we can see that no matter what strength uh, the USD CAD had uh, to break out this level it failed to reverse as it failed to break out from the support level so now what is the next move now what we can expect is a pullback from the USD CAD all the way uh, to hit to retest this, this previous support level right here and right here and here as well and this level was also strong as a resistance so again we are just waiting for the pullback to happen don't buy the USD CAD at all just wait for the pullback to, uh, to perform wait the retest uh, to fail and if it failed the market is gonna continue falling more down so let me just make it clear USD CAD is good for the sell on the level 1.30412 uh, we just have to wait uh, the pair to reverse retest this level and then we're gonna start shorting the USD CAD so again guys that is my expectation for the USD CAD let's look now at the USD CHF so we can see the USDCHF did not make the pullback I was talking about and it just continued sinking uh, for almost more than 100 pips actually 100 almost 120 pips all right so now what is the next move we can expect from the USDCHF 
now similar to the USD CAD we can see the reversal happening right on the support level and we can expect the market to actually make another bounce on this level here because we are facing a strong support level remember that this was also a support number one and we can expect now the market to reverse on a support number two now is it wise idea to buy the USDCHF? absolutely not don't buy the USDCHF at all we just now again same to the USD CAD we need to wait the retest level uh, sorry the retest for the support level and uh, let me just be more accurate uh, this is the support level right here exactly yes perfect it's perfectly fit yes this level here so USDCHF should be good for the sell on the level 0 0.971 triple five not triple five sorry double five this will be actually good level to start shorting the USDCHF uh, after retesting this broken support and we can start buying after 42 pips sorry selling selling after 42 pips and hopefully this is what will gonna happen with the USD CHF let's now check the gold because the gold is actually what's controlling everything for the dollar as well now uh, the buy uh, the pullback did not happen as well here and the market just continued rising more uh, more up hitting this previous resistance level and actually breaking out from this resistance what's happening to the gold right now is really interesting actually it's appealing for the traders to buy the gold however uh, we have to be very careful when we are buying the gold because it's very sensitive as I'm, t I'm talking uh, as I'm telling you always so actually analyzing the gold might take some more time because it's very sensitive as I said and it's not easy at all to predict right now however let me just take a look at what we can have here let's go to the four hour chart one hour chart since uh, we just have uh, almost just two days uh, left in this week I just need to give you like a scalping uh, signal and I should I, I, I need to tell you where we can start actually buying or selling the gold now what we can see here that the gold has reversed from this resistance level I'm expecting for Monday uh, sorry for Thursday opening the market is actually gonna fall a little bit more down retesting the support level and then from the support we can start again buying the gold uh, this is a scalping signal my friend okay this is just a scalping signal it's on the four hour chart because I just want everyone to be careful so let me just tell you that we just need to wait uh, the gold you know something this is gonna take long time let me just uh, revise that actually gold is right now on a very strong resistance level however I cannot give any signal to sell the gold because I think it's gonna continue uh, it's gonna resume going more up let me just be more clear here that is actually better yes that is better oh yeah how did I miss that okay good so we can see that the reversal happened on the gold on the four hour chart right here we have a resistance number one and right here the market performed another resistance number two so therefore we have here a support number one guys please this is just a scalping scalping signal I'm not telling that the market is gonna continue go going up or down this is just a scalping so we can earn some quick uh, bucks here so this is a support number one and here we have a support number two is going to be performed hopefully so when you see the market actually reverse down here retesting this broken support uh, broken resistance level uh, you can start buying the gold and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this resistance level um, let me rephrase that I think this is all consists of resistance number one that's what that's for we have therefore we have here a support number one and I'm hoping for a support number two and then if you see a price action good for the buy uh, you can start buying the gold all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so this uh, scalping uh, signal should give you approximate, uh, approximately 76 or 80 pips of profit now when I say wait for a good price action for the buy I mean something like pin bar doji uh, reverse hammer um, again a, a candle with long uh, wick at, uh, at the top 
with the big body and very small wick uh, uh, tail at the bottom these price actions are actually indicating a reversal and you can start buying the gold once you see any of these price actions so again guys that was my prediction for the gold it is just going to be a scalping uh, signal for the remaining two days on the week however in the end i hope this will be a profitable week for everyone and again wish you guys a happy new year and i want to thank you for watching